The English countryside is a cultural landscape that has been shaped by the interaction of natural processes and human agency. The Peak District of Derbyshire is no exception. Famous for the many cotton mills of the early Industrial Revolution that once thrived in the river valleys powered by the streams coming off the hills. But resource extraction in the Peak District precedes the Industrial Revolution with at least a few thousand years. Lead has been mined in the Peak District since at least Roman times and there's direct evidence that mining continued right through the Middle Ages. In the 19th century an Anglo-Saxon carving was found showing a lead miner carrying a kibble or basket in one hand and a pick in the other. Lead mining continued until the last mine, the Magpie Mine, shut down in the 1950s. Up till the 16th century most lead mining was done on the surface and miners followed horizontal seams. By then the surface seams were exhausted and miners had to sink shafts to reach rich underground seams. By the 17th century most mines were down to the water table. To prevent the mines from filling up with water, drains or soughs were cut through the hills to a neighboring valley where the water was discharged into a river. The construction of soughs changed the hydrological landscape of the Peak District both below ground and above. In some cases the softs not only drained mine shafts but also the small rivers above, which as a result were dry for most of the year. The construction of softs did not only affect the hydrology and ecology of the region, it also affected the availability of water for drinking and other activities. In villages, wells and streams dried up, denying people access to fresh drinking water. In addition, Softs reduced the flow of water channels that powered the early cotton mills of Arkwright in the 18th century. This led to legal conflicts between soft builders and others who relied on the availability of water. Petitions were submitted to the courts and many of these court cases rumbled on for decades. During the 20th century the softs were largely forgotten, but recently softs have been rediscovered for their industrial heritage value on the one hand and a detrimental effect on the hydrology of the landscape, pitting heritage values versus ecological restoration, creating a new battleground of interests. Kerry van Lieshout, a historical geographer at the University of Nottingham, is working on a research project that investigates the environmental and cultural history of the Derbyshire Sofs in order to inform understandings of this largely forgotten cultural landscape and to develop management and conservation strategies for underground heritage. This project is part of the AHRC funded The Power and the Water, Connecting Pasts with Futures, an environmental history initiative that focuses on environmental connectivities that have emerged in Britain since industrialization. The central research focus is on river and hydrological systems and their connected biophysical, energetic, commercial and cultural flows. Listen to the episode of the Exploring Environmental History podcast with Kerry van Lieshout on the environmental history of the Derbyshire Sofs on the Environmental History Resources website or the Power and the Water Project website.